Hello, my name is Vinidia Navidad and I would like to tell you how I went from journalism to activism. Well, about a year ago, I was standing in the middle of the newsroom when I heard Donald Trump speaking. He said, when Mexico sent its people, they send the worst of its country. For me, that was a personal attack. My mother, she came to this country as an undocumented immigrant. However, Mr. Trump, she's not the worst of Mexico. She's actually one of the bravest women I ever met. She left everything she knew just to give me a better future. My anger, it was the anger of thousands. However, after a years, the attack continued and escalated to the point that more people felt that it was right to attack others because they were different, because of their background, because of their preferences. Donald Trump has injected in our communities hate and divisiveness. We cannot allow this. So after hearing all this for a year and after almost a decade of telling stories of citizen children that are destroy because their families have been separated, because their parents were deported, because mothers couldn't go back to their countries and see their children. I couldn't tell those stories anymore. I couldn't get involved because I was a journalist and you're not supposed to get involved, but I was telling the stories. There were thousands of stories of immigrant workers that, that were abused, that were never paid. Thousands of stories of immigrants horrific stories that have become normal in the immigrant community. I couldn't do this anymore. I couldn't just be a bystander. It's like looking somebody getting killed and not doing something because he's not your family member, because it doesn't really affect you directly. It does affect you. If we elect a president that, is, that divides this country, it will affect your country. It will affect your family. So I decided to live a career that gave me three Emmys. A career that I love because journalism for me is the other love of my life. But this was the right decision because I'm fighting for a better future for my daughter, an American citizen who I don't want her to live in a country where she's gonna be seen as less American or less of anything just because she has a Mexican heritage. So I'm fighting not for my dreams, but for my daughter's dreams. I'm fighting for my daughter's future and for the future of millions of, of families that are here in this country to fight for a better future for their families. So it is a sacrifice to live your own career, but every sacrifice with a good reason always has a good ending so I'm looking for that I hope that you vote this November because that's the only thing that people can do right now we can vote for these families that have no voice for these millions of millions of undocumented families that cannot go out and vote we can be their own voice we can be their voices so I invite you to stay united as the name of this country states, the United States of America. Let's re remain united against somebody that's dividing our country, somebody that's injecting hate in our country. Our country has always been a country that welcomes Im immigrants. The Statue of Liberty has a poem that actually reflects that. Um, why change that? United States is a beautiful, country because it's made of immigrants of different backgrounds that come to fight for a better future. Let's keep fighting for a better future together against racism and divisiveness in our country.